For the cruise control ADAS tests, we have a Hunter vehicle with an RT in it, and we have a second vehicle that also has an RT. The RT range system calculates longitudinal range values between the two. We've also surveyed lane markings, so we can get the precise lateral range between the vehicles and the lanes. We get one kilometer maximum range using the RT range system. So we're capturing position, velocities, time to collision, and the precise time that both of those vehicles started braking. And the RT range system captures this all in real time. And of course, you can post-process later for further evaluation. The Hunter is driving at a fixed speed, tracking a target driving in the same lane. We can capture the precise time and position that the target started braking and the Hunter, in response to that manoeuvre, slowing down to match the speed of the target in front of it. The RT in the Hunter is capturing the deceleration values of the Hunter as it adjusts to match the speed of the target driving ahead of it. For testing of cruise control acquisition range, the vehicles were moving at a constant specified speed and we can monitor that in real time. We post-process the data so that we're able to look specifically what time was it, logged to GPS time, that the vehicle saw the car in front of it braking and how did it react in the following manoeuvre? What was the deceleration like? And we're logging data up to 250 hertz with our systems. So we get very smooth data points and we can look precisely at key moments of time during the maneuver. When you're running tests like this over and over and over again, it's the robustness of the communication channels to the vehicles that becomes important. You don't want signals dropping out. These tests were run using a base station and we transmitted corrections to the vehicles in real time from there. The RTX lands make sure that those corrections are broadcast between the number of vehicles that we have in the test. It's robust and it makes sure that every system has RTK quality position data during the test period. Again, so again. Cruise control testing requires a high level of repeatability from the measurement systems. We're driving at a number of different speeds and we need to achieve not only accuracy, but the reliability and repeatability of data over a long test period. That's one of the reasons that our customers choose OXDS systems as their ADAS validation choice for cruise control testing.